Math is simpler than you think. Welcome to Math with Hembo. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Math with Hembo. In this session, we are going to cover multiplying and dividing fractions. When it comes to multiplying fractions, the rules are simple. It's simply top number multiplied to the top number and bottom number to bottom number. Let's say we have 2 thirds times 5 sevenths. All you have to do is go across. Top, therefore, is 2 times 5, and the bottom is 3 times 7. And now, just simply do the multiplication. 2 times 5 gives us 10, and 3 times 7 gives us 21. 10 over 21 is essentially the answer. For the second kind of problems with mixed numbers, it's a little trickier, but Best way to resolve it is simply multiply the front whole number by the bottom number and then add to the top number. So essentially, this becomes 1 times 4 plus 1. And the bottom number never changes, so that stays 4. Times 3 times 2 plus 1, so let me write it here, over 2. At this point, 1 times 4 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and then that's 5 fourths, times 6 plus 1 is 7 over 2. Final answer, essentially, that we should get is following the same rule, 35 over 8. Since fraction as a mathematical operation is a division, all we have to do is do 35 divided by 8. At this point, remember the phrase, bottom number outside, or bottom out. So here, what we want to do is to see how many 8's we can pull out of 35. So what we want to do is go along 8 on the times table and hit 35-ish without going over, and the answer here is 32. So the final answer that we want to put up is above the 4, since 8 doesn't go into 3, but goes into 35. 4 goes up there. 4 times 8 is 32. When you subtract, you get 3 remainder. So here, the final answer then is 8, sorry, 35 divided 8 gives us 4, and the remainder goes on top as 3, and the bottom number never changed. So the answer is 4 and 3 eighths. It's kind of strange to do a division of a division. So instead of doing dividing, what we do is take the right side of the left side fraction and change to a multiplication with the right side fraction turning upside down. So 5 7 becomes 7 over 5. This then becomes 2 times 7 times 3 times 5 for the bottom, and 2 times 7 gives us 14, and 3 times 5 gives us 15. 14 over 15 is the answer. For the second step, when you have mixed numbers, what you want to do is change them into improper fraction before you actually follow the first step. Or, so in this case, 1 times 4 plus 1, as we did for multiplication, was 5 over 4. Keep the division sign. 3 times 2 plus 1 was 7 over 2. Here, 5 over 4 stays as is on the left side. But the right side fraction gets changed. Division to multiplication, and 7 over 2 becomes 2 over 7. Then we multiply top to top, bottom to bottom numbers. That becomes 10 over 28. At this point, reducing fractions to the simplest form is the most important thing. 0 and 8 are even-ending numbers. That means we could divide both by 2. So that gives us 5 over 14 as our final answer. And that is how you do division of a fraction. Now you know how to multiply and divide fractions, we can take on the next challenge together.